This video is to show how we can do a multi-step process in our inventory. We're going to go into receiving the shipment from our from our customer for the return. From there, we're going to go in and uh, do a quality check and inspect the product. Then we're going to go into uh, actually stocking the product. I'm just going to receive it to our general stock inventory, um, but we can get as specific as needed with the dimensions for our uh, inventory locations. So let's jump in here. We see the first one to process, and then we have a few waiting. So once I confirm this, the other will, the other uh, items over here for the quality check and stock options will uh, go into the process button. So we're going to go in and. Validate. I can scan my barcodes and do all that stuff to uh, facilitate the receiving. I'm just going to do it this way since I've already covered that in previous videos. So now that we received that, we see here in quality check, one to process. Once we go through our quality check and inspect the product that it's, it's good to stock, then we're going to move it and stock it. So now the quality check is here. Uh, the product looks good to us. If it didn't, we could scrap it. We could uh, unreserve it. Uh, we can do many things to correct it. We could send it to a quarantine location, anything like that. So now we're going to apply the quantity because everything looked good. So I moved it to done. It shows who created the transfer and the chatter over here. Makes it easy to see who did what. From here, we're going to go in and uh, actually stock our product. Like I was saying earlier, we can. Uh, get as granular as we want with the actual stock location. So this could be shelf one, uh, rack two, bin three, or anything like that. Uh, and we can actually print our picking operation as well and scan the actual slip and then scan the product. Um, when we uh, receive the product into this stage, so from quality control to stock, this is where I would recommend printing the barcode. So when we print the barcode, we can paste this barcode on the uh, product. And I will send it over the PDF. I'm recording in a uh, browser tab, so it's not going to show the, the PDF I just pulled up. So I can show that uh, as an attachment in an email as well. So that's where you could print the PDF for the barcode. Um, it will automatically generate. And now we can receive uh, our quantities into the warehouse, into our warehouse location stock. Um, and we, as I was saying, we can get as granular as needed with that. So now that that is complete, we see that we have no more to process. When I go to my uh, inventory report here, I received the additional items into stock. So now I have two uh, in warehouse stock, so I received one more item of test product one into stock. And we can also see by uh, date. So if we wanted to group by, let's go to our other report, product moves, we can see by date when we received our items. So if I wanted to filter by I can see here when I received everything uh, and I get an overview of what happened in my warehouse for that day. If I want to see by product, I can also group by product and then see what happened for those products. So we 